Bonjour, je m'appelle Adam, and this is Draw for Your Mind. In this video, I am drawing the word cis. And to give you a hint what cis means, it's a number. I'm drawing cis characters. All of them are sisters. The reason I am drawing sisters is that it will help me remember the word cis. I don't know about other countries, but at least here in good old Australia, we do call our sisters cis. I do not have cis sisters though. Cis is one of those words that change when it is in front of a vowel or a muted H. So it would be cis elephant instead of cis elephant. Cis has that z sound. Cis elephant. Zelephon. This drawing took me a long time to draw. I've sped up my drawing pretty quickly to try and squeeze it in in a decent amount of time. So it's going to really fly across the screen, this cursor and pen. But it was a lot of fun to draw. I've got cis characters at various degrees of age, from the baby up to maybe early 20s or late teens. I feel sorry for their parents. To have that many sisters with that varying degree of range, whew, they probably all still live at home too. I did have a couple of little errors that I've had to fix up on the picture, but I think it came out alright. I don't draw a lot of female characters. I'm still learning a lot of anatomy, so this was a bit of a trial and error to see, hopefully, see what looks good. I haven't drawn any children before, so I've had to use a lot of reference to help me try and draw these kids. But I think it came out pretty well. I kind of want to talk about why these pictures are helping with memory and with sticking these images and words into your mind. Have you ever smelt or seen or heard something that reminds you of something in the past? Usually it's a smell, you smell something cooking and then you're taken back to or when you smelt that when you're a child, like your mother's cooking or your grandma's cooking, something like that. But if you see something in particular or hear a sound, something will remind you of a memory that you've long forgotten. And what they say is that memory is sort of made up of different strands that link together. So these strong memories aren't just one thing that ties it in. It's usually a bunch of different ideas or different sensations that can strengthen the memory. Like smell is quite a strong memory, but you experience the smell and then you experience the location and everything that sort of happens around that. The smell, the sight. You remember where you were, the space that you were in. I remember my grandmother's place and she would make these biscuits, or for you Americans, a cookie. I remember they were jam drops. They're like a biscuit that they baked with a jam in the middle uh, on top. And whenever I went to my grandma's house, I would ask her to make these because I'd always remember that I would want these biscuits so I'd eat them there and ask her for them there. So whenever I see jam drops I think of my grandmother and she passed away 30 odd years ago and I still think of that. I still think of the biscuits and asking grandma to make them and the house where I would visit which bring back other memories. The point I'm trying to make is that certain stimuli can bring back a flood of information. So trying to draw a picture for me helps stimulate the emotion. I might remember when I see this picture of me drawing it and what issues I had trouble with it or the time that I drew or things like that. But if not, I might look at it and think, you know, oh, there's a bunch of sisters. I might start thinking my sister, but seeing the numbers as well, stimulating the different memories, different things that evolve in the memory will help keep it all together. I want to make a note 
I didn't realize that my camera was a little off center when I was drawing. I used this awesome free screen capture program called OBS Studio. With that, you can transition between two things on the screen. And I didn't realize that I hadn't transitioned to have the picture in the center. Hence why I have a little bit of the bars from the drawing program I have at the bottom. It's probably an hour or so after I had played with the settings a bit that I realized that I was off center. Whoops. For this word, cis, it's not a hard one and I do know this word pretty well. I can count the French numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not a word that I need to memorize as much. I kind of just felt like drawing something cool and I'll add this to my flashcards. So when it pops up, I can remember cis, sister and numbers. It's just kind of fun. And that's another thing to help with memory is fun. If you make it fun, you want to do it. I enjoy the drawing and it makes it fun for me. It makes it much more fun to learn a language, but it doesn't have to be you drawing a picture all the time. As I mentioned, you can use these pictures if you want to. If you have this picture and for you, it doesn't remind you of sis at all. Maybe it actually reminds you of the French word for sister, which is sir. That one's going to be a tricky one to draw. You might see this as being sir. I drew the picture, I finished it, and I went to bed and got up the next morning with this revelation and going, I should change all the characters' hands to represent the number in which order they are in on the page, not in age, because I already had the little baby with a hand up with five fingers. I just thought it was cuter if the baby's holding its hand up with five, which means I had to go through and change all the others to have the fingers showing. But with the last one, I wanted to put it as a question mark because that's the number we're trying to figure out. So the picture represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what's the last one? I hope you have liked this picture. I think it came out pretty well. I made their hair red to help solidify the sister part. I have all red-headed children. I really like how some of them turned out, especially the little girl with the teddy bear. I thought she was fun to draw. All the characters were pretty cool. Hopefully you will use this. I'll put it up on the social medias as usual and you can use it as your pleasure, either as sis or as sir. I can put one up where they're not showing their hands as numbers and I'll also put one up as is with the hands as numbers. You can find them on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Come along, join in, leave some comments if you like. Put some comments at the bottom of this if you enjoyed it or if you didn't or if there's something you'd like me to draw which would help you remember a French word. If there's um, something in particular, I would enjoy drawing it. Trying to come up with ideas on how to get the sound and the meaning to combine into one picture is very challenging. If you want to see some other cartoon drawings that I do, I do illustrate a webcomic called Pencils and Procrastination, and I'll leave a link for that in the description. And check out some of my past videos. Hopefully you will find something worth your while. But for now, keep drawing, keep learning, and have fun. Au revoir.